Hello, curious minds. Welcome back to Solar System's Wonders. Did you know there's a planet in our solar system that rotates on its side, has seasons that last over 20 years, and might just smell like rotten eggs? Today, we're diving into the strange and wonderful world of Uranus, the most mysterious ice giant in our cosmic neighborhood. Let's explore its secrets and discover why it stands out as one of the most intriguing planets in the solar system. Uranus, the seventh planet from the Sun, wasn't always on our cosmic map. While civilizations have known about Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn since antiquity, Uranus, being much fainter and slower moving, remained hidden until the age of telescopes. It was Sir William Herschel, a musician turned astronomer, who first stumbled upon Uranus in 1781. At first he thought it was a comet or a star, but after careful observation and calculation, he realized he had discovered something much bigger. Imagine the thrill of discovering a whole new planet. This discovery literally expanded the known boundaries of our solar system. It was a big deal. Suddenly our cosmic neighborhood got a whole lot bigger and a lot more interesting. So, how big is this icy giant? Well, Uranus is about four times the diameter of Earth, making it a veritable behemoth in our solar system. To put that in perspective, if Earth were a nickel, Uranus would be about the size of a softball, located approximately 2.9 billion kilometers or 1.8 billion miles from the Sun, Uranus takes a leisurely 84 Earth years to complete one orbit. Yep, one year on Uranus is longer than an average human lifespan. Talk about a long winter. And speaking of cold, Uranus is a frigid world, with temperatures plummeting to minus 371 degrees Fahrenheit, or minus 224 degrees Celsius. That's cold enough to freeze methane which, as we'll see later, plays a big role in Uranus's unique atmosphere. But it's not just the size and distance that make Uranus fascinating. It's the way it spins, the way it's tilted, and the secrets hidden beneath its icy exterior that make it a truly captivating celestial object. Now let's talk about Uranus's most defining feature, its extreme axial tilt. Unlike Earth, which spins on its axis at a tilt of 23 and a half degrees, Uranus is practically lying on its side, tilted at a whopping 98 degrees. Imagine a planet spinning like a top knocked sideways, that's Uranus for you. This extreme tilt is unlike anything we see in our solar system, and has profound implications for the planet's seasons. Because of this unusual orientation, the sun shines directly over each pole for about a quarter of a Uranian year, leaving the other half in complete darkness for decades at a time. Can you imagine experiencing a single season for over 20 Earth years? Talk about extreme weather! Scientists believe that this dramatic tilt may have been caused by a colossal collision with a planet-sized object early in the solar system's history. It's a cosmic hit-and-run that left a lasting impact, literally. Now, let's peel back the layers of this icy giant and see what lies beneath that pale blue exterior. Unlike the gas giants Jupiter and Saturn, Uranus is classified as an ice giant, along with its distant neighbor Neptune. But don't let the term ice fool you. We're not talking about the kind of ice you skate on. The ice in Uranus is actually a superheated high-pressure mixture of water, methane, and ammonia, forming a slushy fluid mantle around its core. Deep down, Uranus is believed to have a relatively small, rocky core perhaps only about half the mass of Earth. This core isn't some fiery inferno, instead it's more like a ball of rock and ice under immense pressure, with temperatures reaching a scorching 4,982 degrees Celsius, or 9,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Its core is enveloped by the aforementioned slushy mantle, which is then surrounded by a thick atmosphere, composed primarily of hydrogen and helium. Deep within Uranus's mantle, something truly amazing might be happening. Scientists believe that under extreme pressure and temperature, water molecules break down into superionic water. Imagine water behaving like both a liquid and a solid at the same time. Oxygen atoms form a solid lattice while hydrogen ions zip around freely. This could conduct electric currents contributing to Uranus's magnetic field. This unique composition along with its extreme tilt and frigid temperatures creates a world of stark beauty and scientific intrigue, a world ripe for exploration and discovery. Uranus has an atmosphere that's a wild cocktail of elements. We're talking hydrogen, helium, and methane. Methane is the real star giving Uranus its blue-green hue. Methane absorbs red light leaving blue and green wavelengths. Winds whip around at hundreds of miles per hour. Temperatures can plummet to minus 223 degrees Celsius or minus 371 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, Uranus may look like a calm blue marble from a distance, but don't let that fool you. Underneath that serene facade lies an atmosphere teeming with activity. We're talking about massive storms, some even bigger than the entire Earth. These storms are driven by the intense heat welling up from Uranus's core and the planet's rapid rotation. And remember that tilt we talked about? That plays a role too, creating extreme seasonal variations that can stir up the atmosphere. 
Imagine this, winds raging across the Uranian sky at speeds exceeding 804 kilometers per hour or 500 miles per hour. These winds can whip up the methane clouds into colossal storms that rage for years. And because Uranus's axis is tilted almost sideways, these storms can sometimes appear as bright spots, visible even from Earth with powerful telescopes. Every planet in our solar system has its own unique quirks, and Uranus is no exception. Uranus's magnetic field is tilted 59 degrees from its axis of rotation. That's like a compass needle pointing towards your elbow instead of north. Instead of originating from the planet's core, Uranus's magnetic field is generated from an off-center point. Scientists are still trying to understand this cosmic mystery. As the solar wind slams into this spiraling magnetic field, it creates spectacular auroras. They can appear at all sorts of latitudes putting on a dazzling light show. Uranus got an entourage of fascinating moons, each with its own story. Named after characters from Shakespeare and Alexander Pope, they add literary flair to the cosmos. There are 28 known moons orbiting Uranus. Miranda, a true Frankenstein world, has towering cliffs and canyons. Its grooved features suggest intense geological activity. Ariel, bright and reflective, shows signs of cryovolcanism. Umbriel, the darkest of Uranus's major moons. This shadowy world reflects very little sunlight giving it a rather ominous appearance. Scientists believe Umbriel's dark surface might be composed of organic compounds, similar to those found in comets and asteroids. Next up is Titania, the largest of Uranus's moons and a world of icy plains, impact craters, and long, fault-like canyons. These canyons are evidence of tectonic activity, suggesting that Titania's interior might have been warm and active at some point in its history. Finally, Oberon, the outermost of the five major Uranian moons. Oberon is another heavily cratered world, but it also shows signs of internal activity, with hints of cryovolcanism and evidence of past resurfacing. Its surface is a tapestry of ancient impacts, icy plains and intriguing dark material that scientists believe could be organic compounds. Each of Uranus's moons offers a unique glimpse into the diverse and dynamic processes that shaped our solar system. Uranus, like Saturn and Jupiter, has rings. They're not as flashy as Saturn's, but they're there. Discovered by accident in 1977, astronomers saw starlight flicker behind Uranus. Those flickers were signs of rings. Each ring blocked starlight, creating dips in brightness. This discovery changed our view of Uranus. The rings of Uranus are surprisingly narrow and faint making them difficult to observe from Earth. They're like those dusty corners of your attic that you only notice when the light hits them just right. Astronomers believe the faintness is due to the composition of the ring particles. Unlike Saturn's icy rings, which reflect a lot of sunlight, Uranus's rings are composed of darker materials, possibly organic compounds that have been darkened by radiation from the sun in space. But don't let their faintness fool you. These rings are dynamic and ever-changing. They're constantly bombarded by meteoroids and interplanetary dust, which can alter their structure and composition over time. Further study of these rings can provide valuable insights into the formation and evolution of planetary systems, including our own. Our knowledge of Uranus, like many distant celestial objects, has been significantly shaped by robotic explorers. The Voyager 2 spacecraft, launched in 1977, made its closest approach to Uranus in 1986, sending back a treasure trove of data and images that revolutionized our understanding of this ice giant. Before Voyager 2's flyby, Uranus was just a fuzzy blue dot through the lens of even our most powerful telescopes. But Voyager 2 unveiled a world of unexpected complexity, revealing its faint rings, a surprisingly dynamic atmosphere, and a retinue of previously unknown moons. Voyager 2's instruments measured Uranus's atmospheric composition, temperature, and wind speeds, revealing a surprisingly active atmosphere despite its distance from the Sun. The spacecraft also mapped Uranus's magnetic field, discovering its unusual orientation and providing insights into its internal structure. While Voyager 2's flyby was brief, lasting only a few hours, its legacy continues to shape our understanding of Uranus. The data it collected has fueled decades of scientific research and inspired a new generation of scientists to unravel the mysteries of this enigmatic world. Since Voyager 2's historic flyby, our observations of Uranus have been limited to telescopes. The Hubble Space Telescope has provided valuable insights into Uranus's atmospheric dynamics. Ground-based telescopes equipped with adaptive optics have also allowed us to study Uranus in greater detail. However, to truly unlock the secrets of this ice giant, a dedicated mission is needed. A Uranus orbiter could provide unprecedented insights into its atmospheric dynamics and magnetic field. So how do we go about solving these Uranian enigmas? Well, one thing's for sure, we need to send a dedicated mission to this enigmatic ice giant. Voyager 2's flyby in 1986 provided invaluable data, but it was just a fleeting glimpse. 
Imagine a future spacecraft, bristling with instruments orbiting Uranus for years on end. One exciting prospect on the horizon is NASA's proposed Uranus Pathfinder mission. It could map the planet's gravitational and magnetic fields in unprecedented detail, giving us a clearer picture of what lies beneath those turquoise clouds. And speaking of those clouds, imagine probing their depths with advanced atmospheric probes. We could analyze their composition, study their bizarre weather patterns, and maybe even find clues to the origin of Uranus's peculiar odor. Exploring Uranus isn't just about satisfying our curiosity about a distant world, it's about unraveling the secrets of planetary formation, understanding the dynamics of ice giants, which are surprisingly common in the universe, and pushing the boundaries of our knowledge about the cosmos we inhabit. Uranus might seem like just another blue gas giant, but it's a world of extremes and surprises. Did you know Uranus could be the smelliest planet in our solar system? That's right, its atmosphere contains hydrogen sulfide the same compound that gives rotten eggs their awful smell, thankfully you'd never actually get close enough to find out, the conditions are far too harsh for a sniff test. Our exploration of Uranus is far from over. Every new observation, every piece of data beamed back to Earth from telescopes and spacecraft, deepens our understanding of this distant world. The Voyager 2 flyby in 1986 provided us with a wealth of information but it was just a glimpse. Future missions equipped with even more advanced instruments could unlock even more secrets. Imagine probing the depths of Uranus's atmosphere, analyzing its composition in detail, or even sending a lander to one of its icy moons. The possibilities, like the universe itself, are vast and awe-inspiring. And that's it for today's journey through the strange and fascinating world of Uranus. Which fact about Uranus surprised you the most? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more cosmic wonders. And stay tuned, because next time we're heading even further out into the solar system to explore Neptune, the distant, deep blue giant with winds that are faster than any hurricane on Earth. You won't want to miss it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep looking up.